So today uh, we're just doing a little mini lesson on verbs. So to refresh, verbs are action words. That's how we're using them today as action words. So whenever you have a sentence, to be a complete sentence, it always has to have an action. Someone or something needs to be doing something. So in this assignment today, you will see the verb is written along the side here. And you are supposed to figure out which tense of the verb goes in here. So when we talk about an action, it's either happening right now, which means that it's present tense. It happened in the past, which means that it's past tense, like it happened yesterday. Or it's happening in the future, which means it will be happening tomorrow. So for example, number one, the verb is to write. The sentence is yesterday, Samuel blank, his name on his test. So the action to write, past tense, would be yesterday, Samuel wrote his name on his test. Um, my mother blank in church next Sunday. So the action is to sing, and it's happening in the future. So then we need to add will to it. My mother will sing in church next Sunday. So usually, not always, but usually when something's happening in the future, we need to have will in front of it because it will be happening. A lot of times when something happens in the past, we add ed at the end. So, um, like for example, number 10, the verb is to paint. Last summer, Uncle Ted painted the outside of our house. But we have to remember those tricky ones that don't have, we don't add ed. For example, to teach, our teacher teached us how to do that last week. They'll, we hear that and we think, well, that just sounds silly, right? So we know that the past tense of teach is taught. So some of those tricky verbs you have to look out for, it's not just adding ed at the end, but it's actually changing the word. And when we have present tense, we usually... Um, if the verb changes at all in the present tense, uh, it is just, we add an S at the end. So number seven, for example, work. Michael and Scott often work at the fast food restaurant. That one doesn't even change. Let's see. I'm trying to find one. So... <clears throat> When we're in the present tense, it either stays the same or you uh, add an S in. So if it was just Michael, Michael often works at the fast food restaurant. And a lot of these are just the way that they sound correct, right? Like if you say it in your head and it doesn't sound right, it probably isn't, okay? Um, so go ahead and fill out the answers to this. And that is your quick little review on action verbs and the different tenses that they have.